It's been a little while now since we did a top five list here on the channel. Today, we're gonna to take a look at my top five favorite RCs of 2021 so far. So let's get into it. Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be taking a look at my top five favorite RCs of 2021 so far. Now I have done top five videos on the channel before, you may have seen some of them. It's been a little while which is why I thought we would do a little update. So before we take a look at my top five list, if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. I will be releasing some details very soon about a 10K giveaway uh, where one of you will be able to win a brand new RC car. Uh, more details on that are gonna be coming up very, very soon. I will be posting a video about the 10K giveaway. Now, if you wanna be in for a chance of winning, you are gonna have to be subscribed to the channel. So hit that button, guys. Let's make this happen. And you never know, you may be walking away with a brand new RC car. Right, that's enough talking. Let's take a look at which RC I have placed at the number five spot. At the number five spot, we have got the Bonsai B416 Buggy. Uh, this is a relatively new model, and I have to say I was pleasantly surprised when I took it out for its test run. Now, this is a great little ready to run package, ideal for somebody who's looking to get into the RC hobby. Now, it does have one main competitor, and that is the WL Toys 144001. Now, yes, I know I bang on about it all the time. The WL Toys 144001 probably is the go-to best beginner RC car you can actually buy for the money. But we do have to be fair to this little buggy. I was very impressed with how it performed. One of the things I wasn't really keen on was how the, uh, the shocks were performing, which is why I have upgraded the shocks, as you can see on my one here. I have fitted metal shocks, and they are actually a set of shocks off the 144001. They actually fit perfectly, and when I took this out and gave it another run, uh, when I'd done the brushless conversion, it performed a lot better than it did in its stock form. Now, I'm not saying you have to upgrade this to brushless or fit new shocks as soon as you get it out of the box. That's just what I decided to do because I felt it needed a little bit more power and I wasn't really a massive fan of the shocks. It did feel a little bit bouncy, but as an overall ready to run package, you're gonna get on absolutely fine if you decide to go for one of these. But because of those uh, you know, very minor disadvantages, that is why I've placed it at the number five spot. So moving on to number four then, we have got the FTX Tracer, also known as the HBX 16890. Now this comes in a brushed form and it also comes in a brushless form as well. And I have to say, this is one of the most durable, fun little RCs I have ever tried. Now you may be thinking, this isn't a new RC, so why am I featuring it in this list? Well, to be honest, I know it's not new, but I really do think it is one of my favorite RCs and it's one of the very best I have ever tried, especially in this scale. Now, this is one of the most durable little RCs I've come across. I have taken this thing to the skate park. I've jumped it off of ramps and look, it is still in one piece. Many, many people have said these things are bulletproof. They're like tanks, considering how small they actually are. Uh, the performance and what you get for the price is phenomenal. Now you've got two options when it comes to this little Truggy. You can either go for the brushed version or you can go for the brushless version. I've got the brushed version here and I have to say it's always felt like it was enough power for me. Uh, we were pulling off some seriously big jumps. It's always felt like enough power, but if you do think you may want that little bit extra, go for the brushless. Now, one of the big advantages to this little Truggy is parts availability. You can pick up the parts for this thing from pretty much anywhere. Uh, being the FTX Tracer here in the UK, you can go on, you can pretty much visit any UK model shop and you'll be able to pick up the parts for this. Uh, but not only that, Banggood also sell all the parts for the HBX version if you decide to go for that one. But the good thing is, all the bits will be interchangeable. So a great little package. It's a really, really good, fun little RC car. It's also durable, it's fairly nippy. I really can't recommend it enough, which is why I think it really does deserve its place at the number four spot. 
And that brings us on to the number three spot, and it is the HBX 2188A, the Hoonicorn. Now, I absolutely love this little RC car, and unfortunately, I don't have it here with me on the counter because I've given it to my good friend Big Beard RC and he's making great use out of that little RC car. Uh, it's a great little drifter, it's also got an inbuilt gyro. If you're looking to get into RC drifting, it is definitely a very good option. Now I have to say it's one of my favourite little RC cars that I've ever driven, especially so far this year. I just love the fact that it's got that gyro and it really helps you to get it sideways. It looks great, you get very good runtime as well. If I had to make one complaint, I would say I really do wish there was a way to turn the gyro off. I would have liked to have seen how the car would have performed without the gyro, but even so, a very, very good great little performing RC car and I really do think it deserves its place at number three as one of my favourite RC cars so far of 2021. And this brings us on to the number two spot and here we have the HBX Spectre. Now I was very pleased with how well this little thing performed and for the money you really can't go wrong. Now everything you need to get you up and running is going to be included in the box. You're going to get decent runtime. You've got a great set of LED lights as you can see here. When this thing is in action it looks fantastic. Now you may have seen the WL Toys 124018, that's a very popular little desert buggy. It's almost double the cost of this little HBX, and if I have to say, I actually prefer the performance of this one. Now I actually prefer this little HBX Spectre over the WL Toys, uh, mainly because it is a little bit lighter, you can throw it around a little bit easier. Don't get me wrong, the WL Toys 124018 is a great little desert buggy, you've got a metal chassis, you've got more metal components, but we do have to remember it's almost double the cost of this little Spectre. Now guys, if you want to know more about any of these RC cars, I am going to leave all the links in the description below for you to head over and check out the full review videos. The purpose of this video isn't to tell you all the ins and outs of each model. It's purely just to give you my idea and my opinion on what my favourite RCs are so far of this year. So this brings us on to the number one spot. What have I placed as my all-time favourite RC so far of 2021? Well, it can only be one. It's the Pinecone Models SG1603. Now, why have I placed the SG1603 at number one? Well, look at it, it looks absolutely fantastic. There really is no denying how good this little truck actually looks. And it really does resemble the Armour Infraction. And you can pick one of these up for a fraction of the cost. Now I've done many different videos of the SG1603 on my channel. I've done a brushless conversion, we've taken it out drifting. There's so many different videos available on my channel. I will leave links down below, but this really has to belong at number one. There isn't anything I've tested out this year so far that can knock this thing off the number one spot. Not only is it cheap, but it looks great. It's got LED lights. You can adjust them from your transmitter. You can also adjust your speed settings. The list is endless. It's an absolutely fantastic, great little RC car. Cannot stress that enough and I absolutely love it. Now this actually comes in two different versions. You can get the brushed or the brushless. I've actually got both, and when I took them both out, I have to say the brushed actually felt like it was probably gonna be enough for most people. Uh, with the brushless version, it did feel a little bit overpowered at times. Not only that, the gyro was a little bit, uh, little bit twitchy on the brushless. On the brushed, the gyro performed great, and it really does help to get this thing sideways. Uh, one, one big advantage as well is the fact that you can adjust your gyro settings from your transmitter. You can turn it up or down. Again, you can adjust your LED lighting settings. Great, great little RC. Now, if you decide to go for the brushed version and then you think to yourself, this isn't powerful enough, I should have gone for the brushless. Well, the good news is you can actually buy the ESC, the motor and the servo separately. You can also use the same transmitter from the brushed version. So if you decide you want to do the upgrade later on, you absolutely can. And it's not going to cost a huge amount of money. Just something to consider. If you think the brushed is going to be enough, go for the brushed. So we're going to leave the video there today. I really hope you enjoyed seeing my top five favourite RCs of 2021 so far. Let me know in the comments section down below if you think something else should be at the number one spot. I personally think the SG1603 is my favourite RC car of 2021 so far. If you think different, let me know in the comment section down below. Like I said, be sure to hit that subscribe button. We're getting close to 10,000 subscribers. There's going to be a 10,000 giveaway coming up very, very soon, so don't miss out on that. I'm going to leave it there today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you again soon on the next one. Take care. Yeah, yeah.